PMI 945, thank you. <clears throat> 945, 10, thank you, Jason. Consumer confidence rate. Thank you, Zeke. Um, so if you're looking at this one bar is totally out of character. I mean, it's as big as any of the bars of the day, and this happens at the end of the day. So it tells us one of two things. First of all, as traders were taking profits, the end of the day scalpers, and, and take profits, and you would think would come back into this 51 area, 51 and a half, and then all of a sudden it gets goosed. Um, but the overnight, we have not broken below that bar. So that's an important idea for today. All, it, because this happened late, and it happened with low volume overnight. So we can't just cloud our mind with the idea that, yeah, everybody's come home. Um, traders that were trapped and are still trapped from that. So the morning after trend day says you can buy your pullbacks and hope to get to that gap. This gap that, that I've got here is at 54, came within one tick of it. And probably you will get you know, some kind of two-way action. This was a substantial day, but it wasn't a killer day, so we can get more upside. But like I said, until we break the highs, that's resistance, and we've got range trading. So first support is right here, like we said yesterday, and, and give it a little room because this 46 and a half is last year's um, a high. So we're, we're still trying to rotate and hold the 41 settle, the 37.75 year open, and now we're trying to rotate and see can we get higher or not. So I want to think neutrally, but with the wind still blowing at the back of the longs, and therefore, it gives you the right to buy pullbacks today without any thought that we can go to, you know, the primary targets that we've identified. So we're going to look at this framework. We're going to understand the context of where we are. Because every time that you buy highs, you're open to, this is called in real estate, it's called the greater fool theory. Buy high, sell higher. And at some point, you know, you're left holding, uh, holding the bag. So, and when that is, nobody knows. But this has been a manipulated market, and uh, so far, the longs, a day like yesterday, the longs just take advantage of, of this squeeze right there. All right. <clears throat> we got the open. Um, this is a fairly, a fairly neutral open. And anybody that is playing for the gap, um, keep a tight stop. With news coming out, anything can happen. And my guess is we'll have a fairly tight range the first 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes before news. So anybody that is playing for the gap to uh, test angels and demons, 50 and a half support is our angel for now, and 55 demon. and. And I'd be surprised if we break that range in the next 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I think we just have going to have some chop uh, waiting for news. Very, very low volume uh, overnight. So my advice, think, think tiny, and then we'll have to react after news comes out. And we've got a magnet at uh, 47, so that's supportive. That that 47, think 47 supportive. And soldiers trapped from yesterday at 49, just the low of this bar. And don't make the mistake of getting arrogant as a long. Yesterday was a good, powerful day. Morning after trend day says you can go with the flow, but you don't have to get a breakout just because of that. And if you're looking at the RTH charts, is what it looks like. And you can see the rain line back here at uh, 45 and a quarter which we suggested back in here, the IBI, this is support, and we moved it up here. 
So natural pivot today should be this 52 zone. And we opened at 52.75. So reminder, today's Friday. You always have two dynamics uh, at work on, on a Friday. First is who's winning, and the second is who wants to get paid. So normally, we will get some type of activity in the morning where if there's a squeeze pivot on that, and as long as that's intact, the, the longs aren't going to come out because they're not being forced out. Their stops aren't being hit. If one of the stops get hit, then okay, let's let's take our, our profits and you know that's that. If not, they're going to hang in there and see if today will produce any more in the coffers. So there's no reason for longs to come out. There's nothing that's happened overnight. And then if we get some kind of crazy news, that, you know, that comes out and we hit stops, and then all of a sudden, okay, fine, let's take what we can and you know had a reasonable week. And day traders, a reminder, we're trying to ride the coattails of the team that's winning at the time. You know, we don't make the waves. We're trying to ride the waves one way or the other. Globex chart, 60-minute chart so far has was dynamic yesterday and so far has held the blue line overnight. <clears throat> and I'm looking for a range-type trading right now. Have the news. So if you are involved, think about risking two to make two. Uh, that's the type of trading we've got right now. <clears throat> 